it's the perfect storm for you not to be able to do the things that you're supposed to do. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Ego. Welcome back to EGO Initiative, where we create self-care systems to help us live our best lives and support our communities without sacrificing our health. If this is your first time on my channel, again, my name is Ego. I am a poet, community educator, wellness consultant, and owner of this platform, EGO Initiative. If you have been here for a while, again, welcome back. I am so happy to be doing a Wellness Wednesday chat today on a topic that I was actually experiencing today. I'm going to be talking about resistance. Last Wellness Wednesday chat, I spoke about motivation, how to get and stay motivated. And I think this is kind of similar to that in that the recipe for that or the resolution for that is really being able to maintain some sort of self-discipline and whatever it is that you need to get done. However, resistance is its own type of beast, if you will. I have been listening to the audiobook The War of Art, and this is actually my second time around listening to it because it's something that I've been experiencing recently. And like I always say, I like to be an example and proof of what is possible. What I've been noticing lately is that resistance is something that everyone definitely experienced at one point or another. I want to be able to share tips that you can actually tap into. Self-sabotage is another way to describe resistance. We probably experience ex resistance on a daily basis. On a spiritual level, uh, we experience all types of temptation. And I kind of look at resistance as forms of temptation preventing you from doing what you want to do or preventing you from your ultimate goal. And from a spiritual standpoint is to get to kingdom. But on a day-to-day -day basis, we experience so many types of resistance, whether it be like you have goals of staying healthier, staying fit, and you get tempted by all these things, or you want to work out and then you wake up and you have a migraine or a headache or whatever have you, or you are an aspiring writer, you're a budding entrepreneur, you want to get into a particular field, but you experience resistance in terms of like you're a writer, but you don't write as often as you want to, or you don't apply for some jobs that you are interested in because you are afraid of getting rejected, things of that nature. So those are all forms of resistance. There's so many ways that resistance rears its ugly head, so to speak. We experience resistance on so many different levels. I wanted to be able to come on and share how I've been able to overcome resistance in certain regards and what I do in the moments where I realize I am experiencing resistance. Earlier I went on Instagram and I was saying that I was experiencing resistance in coming on to record this video so I'm going to be referencing that as my example for today. So I'm going to be sharing tips for how to navigate through when you're experiencing continuous moments of resistance. Generally when I offer tips it's an ongoing process. It takes a little bit of time for you to master going through these tips for you to achieve what you want to achieve so with motivation there's there were certain steps that I, I, I outlined for you to get and stay motivated but those things you kind of have to go through and some of the steps will take a little bit more time but today I'm gonna share tips that you need to act on right away for them to actually work and so these tips are really in the moment when you are experiencing resistance, it's creeping its ugly head and preventing you from doing the things that you want to do. These are steps that you can take right away or that you should take right away in order for you to overcome your resistance. So there's two types of ways that we are going to experience resistance, whether it be life happens and so it's a matter of like, it's the perfect storm for you not to be able to do the things that you're supposed to do. That's one way that resistance shows up or resistance shows up in forms of excuses that you were able to make. I'm gonna give two examples for myself. I've been experiencing resistance with my goal of being a more consistent runner. I love to run, I love to jog, but I haven't been as consistent as I would like to be and I actually have some goals, some concrete goals that I have set out. I've actually just crossed one of those milestones, running a 10K, next goal is half marathon and so on and so forth. But with my running practice, a way that I've experienced resistance is every few months or so, my ankle flares up. I have an incident, freak accident with my ankle. I go for a run one day and I notice it kind of is like hurting a little bit or I twist it or something, I just continue to run on it, I don't stretch enough afterwards, and then boom, I can't go for a run for a week or two. This recently happened again this past weekend. I felt some pain on my 
ankle on Friday when I went for my run and still continue to run on it. I accomplished my goal for that day. But when I went home, I didn't do enough of stretching. And of course, over the weekend, it started to flare up. It was actually swollen, had to ice it on and off, still kind of coming down off of that swelling. I say all that to say, that is one way for me to have a good streak going, something happened with my ankle, and then all of a sudden I can't run anymore. So that's one way the resistance shows up, where it's just like, you know, life will happen, it's the perfect storm for like, oh, I can't run today, you know, because my ankle's hurting. And I'm not saying in that instance that I should continue to run on a broken ankle or, or a sprained ankle. Just saying, you're not taking care of yourself in a particular type of way, you're kind of quote unquote reckless it's very easy for you to be like, see, I can't do this thing because there's a very perfect, like this is a perfectly lined up excuse for you not to do that thing. So that's one way that resistance shows up. And then resistance shows up in the moments where you also have these like little excuses for why you can't do certain things. So for instance, with this video, I was experiencing, ironically, I was experiencing resistance with coming on to record this video because yesterday I needed an extra day to just recuperate because I was super extroverted on the weekend and that's one excuse and then today it's too hot like you can definitely see me this little glow is definitely I'm sweating because I have to turn off the fan because of the sound and all these things so there's so many excuses there's so many good tiny little excuses that are great for me to be like I can't record this video today but the point of me sharing all those things is that resistance definitely is sneaky in its way of like creeping up into your life and preventing you from doing the things that you want to do so you need to be able to recognize which forms of resistance you might be experiencing i'm sure there's so many other types of resistance but those are two of the common ones that i've noticed it's like something is always going to happen there's always the perfect little storm that will prevent you from doing the things you say you want to do and then there's the tiny day-to-day -day excuses that will come up. So I want to keep that in reference as I go into sharing these tips on how to address resistance in those moments. Before I get into the tips, actually, I think I like this little segment of sharing a quote that really resonates. And that quote is that getting it right is a process. If you keep that in mind, you're able to understand that even in moments of resistance, you don't need to put yourself down. Use these tips that I'm gonna share with you today to get out of it and then be better prepared next time when you do start to experience resistance resistance then you have a a toolkit or a step-by-step -step process for you to go through it so whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish in terms of what your big goals are or your vision for your life understand that getting it right getting to that goal is in fact a process not to be too too focused on like the end goal yes it's good to have that in mind but also knowing that the journey is also important the process is important as well and getting it finally getting right is going to be a process and so making sure that you're actually fully going through that process is also really really important let's get right into it so the first tip or step is to recognize that you are experiencing resistance you can't change what you are not aware of you need to take moments of recognizing i'm experiencing resistance right now or i'm experiencing self-sabotage or these are the ways that i do sabotage myself so for instance before i finally got to recording this video i did go on instagram just to check in if you're not following me on instagram by the way you should because that is where i share a little bit more day to day what it looks like for me to practice self-care what my self-care systems look like and what my daily wellness practices look like so I went on there just to say hey to the, the community on there but also to share that I was experiencing resistance when I came to recording this video ironically but I did that because I always want to be an example and proof of what is possible so I wanted to document what it looks like to hey I'm acknowledging that I'm experiencing resistance right now and so that's a great way for you I'm not saying that you have to go on social media obviously but being able to recognize what is going on with you is really really important I'm sure you've heard me say this before Self-reflection is a huge, huge part of your wellness journey is going to be if you're not someone who regularly reflects, but you need to be able to reflect on how you are showing up on a day-to-day -day basis. And so that is how I was able to recognize that I was experiencing resistance. But also, like I mentioned earlier, I've been listening to the audiobook, The War of Art. And so resistance has been very fresh on my mind recently and so each day i'm thinking about ways in which i either overcame resistance or resistance had a leg up on me and then kind of navigating what it's going to look like in the following days to come and so again 
the first step is to recognize that you are experiencing resistance. The second step is to decide what you actually want. What do you want to do? What, what would you like to get out of this? So when you are experiencing resistance and you're coming up with all these excuses or you have the perfect storm of things that have happened, you need to decide, so this has happened, so what? What do you actually want? And so with the example of this video, what did I want? I wanted to come on here and record this video. That's ultimately what I needed to do, what I wanted to do for today, what I had set out to do for today. And so that is the, that, that's an easy decision. I knew what I wanted to do. Sometimes it's a little bit trickier where you're trying to figure out like, why do I feel like this? Why do I feel restless? So you need to get very clear on what is it you actually want to accomplish? What do you want out of that moment? What is it that you should have been doing? So another example could be, so you want to be an entrepreneur, right? And so you experience resistance on a regular basis, like you're hesitant about, you know, starting that, finally starting that business, or you did start a business once and it failed miserably or something happened, you tried to plan an event and no one bought tickets or whatever have you. And literally any, any of those things could happen where it comes up and you need to decide. So what do you actually want? Is the end goal, I just want people to see me as being successful or is the end goal, you know what, I'm really passionate about X, Y, Z and so my goal is to continue at this until I get it right. Because if it's just that you want people to see you winning, that might not be a strong enough reason for you to actually do the thing that you need to do. So really get clear on what you want to do. So if you don't even know what you want, then it's a little bit harder for you to kind of move through it. Speaking of moving through it, the next tip is to make a move right now. So as I mentioned earlier, with the, making this video, I was experiencing resistance. The one move that I made right away is to, was to go on Instagram and share, hey, this is what I'm experiencing right now. Matter of fact, as I'm talking, that is the step that I'm going to take. I'm going to go record this video. And so that is one way to make one quick move because I'm already clear about what it is I want to do. So it's that much easier for me to make my next move. This is a very important tip it doesn't have to be some elaborate thing. It needs to be really, really quick because you need to be able to have that one leg up with resistance. Resistance banks on the fact that you are going to continue to sit in your excuse and not make a move. So the moment you actually take one step, it, is, it helps you get so much further along. Now, this is a little bit different from the advice that I usually get because whenever I give tips and steps on what to do to move through certain things, there's always some sort of planning involved. Don't worry, the planning is coming. However, this is something that you don't need to think too much about. You just need to go. And I'm sure some of you have heard of Mel Robbins and the five second rule. If you need to count yourself down by five, whatever have you, I just decide and I go. I don't really need to do the five second rule. Once I make a decision, it's very easy for me to make a move on it. Even if I get derailed, it's just me making another decision pretty much. And so when I went on, on Instagram, my next decision was like, hey, I'm going to I'm going to get this video done. Another thing that I did was to make an outline for this video, but also again because it needs to be quick tiny actions I made sure that it wasn't just me sitting there forever and writing out this is the shortest video outline I've ever done. It's not even the whole page and so I quickly jotted down what I wanted to say, the little tips that I wanted to give and that was that, set up my recording equipment and here we are. And so make sure that the move is really quick and like a quick actionable step. You make the decision right away to make that move and then you keep the momentum going. And that's the third tip to make a move right now. And that brings me to the fourth and final tip which is to plan, revise, edit, rinse and repeat. This is the step where after you've moved through that moment of resistance, this is kind of like the post resistance tip. And so you need to plan what you are going to do the next time you're experiencing resistance, especially with that particular thing that you decided you really wanted. So if it's that you really want to be a writer, now you understand, you can recognize the moments when you are experiencing resistance. So either you wake up really late and you have to go to work so you can't get your more morning pages in or you know you tried to write that one poetry book or that one novel and it flopped miserably and so that is like the perfect excuse for you to never write again but you actually want to be a writer and so once you recognize those moments of resistance where you are not actually doing the things that you say that you will you recognize it and then you say hey self what do I really want out of this? I really want to be a writer? Cool. So I'm going to write. When you decide what you really want then the move is 
okay, I'm going to write. I'm going to write right now. So if you're experiencing resistance and you really want to be a writer and you recognize that you are experiencing resistance, you know that you want to be a writer, in that moment when you realize it, take a pen and paper and write something, anything. It does not matter. Whatever it is, as long as you wrote. That is the point, to make a move right away. But then now, after you move through that and you actually write, then you decide, okay, what does it look like for me to win over all of the excuses that are inevitably going to come up? Does it look like, okay, so I need to wake up an hour earlier, 30 minutes earlier, so I have all the time so that if I actually hit snooze a couple of times, I still have a little bit more time for me to get some writing done. Or when I do experience resistance, I'm gonna stop and write three pages. Like that is gonna be my action plan each time I'm experiencing resistance. And even though it might not be something that'll be great, something I wanna publish, at least I will recognize in that moment I move through resistance type thing. So come up with an action plan. And then the more you do it, the more you're able to see, okay, so this time around, maybe I need to wake up 30 minutes earlier or this time around maybe I need to actually start writing in the evening time so that's another way of like thinking about different ways that you can plan it out I want to circle back to my running example so now that I recognize that every every few weeks or so my ankle flares up I know that if I go for that run and I start to feel a little bit of pain in my ankle I'm gonna make that run an easy run I might start do a slow jog or I might walk instead the rest of the way understanding that I'm starting to feel a little bit pain in my ankle and then when I get home I'm gonna make sure that I thoroughly stretch I'm gonna give myself a rest period afterwards so that I'm not taking two days off for instance or a whole week off because I'm overexerting myself so that's a way for me to plan for the next time that I'm going to go for a run to avoid that excuse of you know now my ankles broke up and I can't run so that's another example of how you can use that moment of resistance to plan what you it's going to look like moving forward so yeah. and that is all my tips for today I hope that it supported you and again like I said these tips are meant for you to go through in the moment and act really quickly on them with the exception of the last tip which is more of like a post after you've won over resistance then you can come back and kind of edit as you go along and think about okay what did it look like in this moment what are some things that were really helpful what are some things that I did in that moment that was really helpful for me to move through resistance repeat some of those things or what would I do differently next time so that is all I have for you all today of course if you want to learn a bit little bit more you should definitely join me on Instagram where I share a lot more tips on a consistent basis on how you can do things like overcome resistance for instance, I share a lot of behind the scenes on what my daily life looks like in terms of what self-care looks like each day. I've been doing this new series where I show today self-care look like and showing different ways that you can pour into yourself throughout the day. So if you're looking for more ways to practice self-care and be more intentional about prioritizing your wellness, you should definitely follow me on Instagram at EGO Initiative. That'll be linked below as well. And of course, if you just want to be a part of the tribe, all you got to do is subscribe, pull up a seat, make sure that you are staying hydrated, and I'll talk to y'all real soon. Peace and love.